In the summer of 2022, the UC Institute on Global Conflict and Cooperation hosted its annual training course on Great Power Competition, which provides graduate students with the opportunity to explore together and with veteran social scientists the origins and long-term implications of Great Power Competition. Here, participants reflect on the relationship between the up-and-coming generation of scholars and the veteran academics who have paved the way. My name is Aaron Dawson, and I am a PhD candidate at the Department of War Studies, King's College London. Hi, my name is Jackie Wong. I'm a PhD candidate at the University of Southern California. My name is Zenobia Chen. I am from the uh, politics department at Princeton University. My name is Mesa Pivot. Uh, I use she, her pronouns, and I'm a PhD student at the University of California, Irvine's Department of Political Science. Historically, academia has placed a priority and value on deep, in-depth expertise on particular areas. And there is value in that. But I think our generation of scholars today, with all the tools to collaborate, to network, really find value actually in each other's interests. And it may be the case that we're talking to someone who has a completely different research question that they're tackling. But in many cases, the same methodologies that they're using can apply in ours. Or equally, the sort of questions that they are studying could be reframed and improved uh, through analysis and methodologies that we're pursuing. So it's really through collaboration today's in today's world uh, that we can really look at a kaleidoscopic view of challenges which wouldn't really have been possible in the past. For myself, uh, having grown up without the internet and with like landlines, I think um, maybe scholars of my age or around this age, we are we're in a transition period where we can bridge the gap between the generations before us and the one coming after us. And I think um, it's always our responsibility as scholars to help bridge these differences across generations. For our generation, with better access to data, uh, better training in language, because we can easily go on the web and have training in Korean, Chinese, right? So we can have some new cases to speak to the uh, uh, more conventional theories or uh, some established theories, right? And there should be some kind of cooperation room between uh, more established scholar and young, younger scholar for us to come up with more refined theories so that uh, we can understand our world better, right? The world is so big and we know so little. The generation of scholars that came before me have immense knowledge, they have immense experience, and they know what has worked and what hasn't in the past. And I think we have a lot to learn from them. Um, the best thing that they can do for us is to support us, our research, our ideas. Um, they can support these kinds of conversations uh, with grad students, with people in non-academic circles that are doing a lot of activist work, that are working for change within our societies.